Can you spot what is the problem with this code in here? What's going on guys? Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Amigos Code. In this video, I want to show you why this actually is bad code and also why it's slow and why you should avoid it. So this is something that I've seen people do and sometimes people are not really sure why should I use the um, object types. So wrapper classes versus primitives. So in this video, hopefully this uh, will make sense so that you understand exactly what what is going on under the hood. Now, I've got the profiling here and profiling is just a mechanism for you to examine your process. So you can see the memory, the heap, um, stack and all that stuff, right? So in here, I do have this piece of code in here, which I'm going to go through with you. And if you look carefully, so this is very simple. It's a loop where basically it loops through the maximum number of integers and then it performs a sum, right? Now, can you spot what is the problem with this code in here? So think think for a second or so and try and figure out why this is bad. So this code here, you know, it's just a loop and we basically adding to sum and that's it. Right. So in order for you to understand this issue, you need to understand how objects and primitives are stored in memory. So if you haven't taken the Java Masterclass course where I teach all of this, in a nutshell, primitives are stored inside of the stack. And basically, they are very fast in terms of, you know, how you access them. Whereas the object themselves, they are stored in something called the heap in here. And basically, from the stack, you have the reference to the heap. And this is where the objects do live. So this actually, it's more expensive. And if the heap basically runs out of memory, then you will see this Java error out of memory. Probably you've seen this before. And also there's something called the garbage collector, which is a process to free up memory in here, because if this is full, then your application stops responding and basically it can't function, right? So I'll show you how to use this in a second as well. And in here, the issue is, Oh, actually, you can see that. So basically, this is the heap memory. And it was around 250. And then the garbage collector kicked in. Boom. And then dropped to 37, right? So basically, you don't have control when the garbage collector basically kicks in. But I'll show you with this magic button in a second how to basically free up. And this is mainly for debugging purposes. Now here, the issue is that this right here, creates a brand new object, right? So this class right here, it's immutable. So if we look into the long class, so this is the object. So here you basically create a an object from it and have a look, final and then class and then long. Whereas the other type, so this is the primitive, which is the long, so lowercase right here, right? So this is way different than the basically wrap a class than this long because now with this long sum basically it creates a brand new object and then it stores it within the heap meaning that throughout this entire loop in here whatever the maximum number of integer is and you can see here so basically it creates as many objects as it can within the heap space and that's why you saw the graph basically it went up and then down and i'll show you how to kick this in in a second because i've got an example and also the other issue is that it comes down to performance right and i'll show you so i've got the timing in here that basically tells you how long the query takes so let me demonstrate this to you so that you see how this works and maybe you start to use primitives more than actually the wrapper classes which in some cases you actually need to use them and i'll show you where so let's basically go back to intellij and in here you can see that basically the heap so it's, it's actually getting filled up so here from 37 it's filling up and then eventually it will go down but what i want to show you first is i've got this controller in here with this mapping so sum and here i've got postman which i'm going to basically just kick in so this is postman right here and right here, I'm just going to send the request. So basically, forward slash sum, you can see that. Have a look. So the graph now spiked, right? So it was like 60 MB, but now it's adding 
objects to the heap. So this is the heap memory in here. And have a look. From 60, it goes all the way to 200 MB, and then it will sit there, right? And also what I want to show you, so before I show you some, some more metrics, what I want to show you is that, so in here, if I go to basically, I think it's what, yeah, so basically this tab in here, you can see that this actually took five seconds, literally five seconds. And this is way too long, right? So it's all about performance here. So if I go back in here, let me actually show you also that, and I'll show you how to get the profiler up and running in a second. But in here, if I want to clear up the memory in here, so you can see that this is 200, so I can actually invoke the garbage collector in here. And bear in mind that in a typical running application, you have no control of this, right? So here, if I perform, boom, you can see that, have a look. So it freed up all memory in here. So from 200, it went all the way to 30, and eventually it will reach all the way to, I think maybe 60 or whatever, the running application without load whatsoever um, is, right? And here you can see basically when I run the application, the CPU was at 10% or 11%. And this is problematic, right? So the way to improve this is as follows. So if you are within loops or always try and prefer to use primitives instead of wrapper classes. So here, so here I'm going to say uh, actually long, so not int, but long. And with this small change, you'll see the improvement. So let's, in here, I'm going to basically start the application with profile. So here you can basically click on this button and basically we'll kick in with profiling. And here you can see that it's already recording. And also, if you don't see the profiler in here, go to, I think it's view and then tools and then profile, so then you should have access to it. So let's now see the improvements. So so if I open a profiler and in here, go to home, and basically I wanna view CPU and memory. There we go. And you can see that currently it's sitting at 58, and that's reasonable. If I kick in the process, so Postman, so if I send, have a look. So this was much faster. But can you see the memory footprint on the actual heap? So there wasn't a significant jump. So it actually was from um, 59 to 60. So this is a massive improvement. And things like this that you don't pay attention can be costly when building applications to production. So, and also, so basically, if I go to the running tab, you can see that this actually was so quick. So from five seconds or five or 5,000 milliseconds, we went down to 793 milliseconds, which is like a big, big improvement, right? So you can see that this right here, it's a much better approach. If you want me to record a video specifically on profiling, feel free to let me know and I'll make it happen. If you enjoyed this video, smash the like button, comment down below, and um, I'll see you in the next one. Assalamu alaikum.